White grubs are the C-shaped larvae of scarab beetles. Scarabs are normally called dung beetles as many species have larvae that eat animal dung. Species of scarabs that attack turf grasses feed primarily on the lower layers of thatch and thereby sever and destroy the root systems. Damaged turf wilts in irregular patches and it can usually be lifted up like a loose carpet to expose the underlying grubs. Animals often dig up turf in their search of an insect meal. White grubs are often divided into three groups according to their life cycles. Most damaging species are called annual grubs because it takes one year to complete their life cycles. A few grubs have two generations per year and several species take two to five years to complete their life cycles. White grubs are insects that have complete life cycles with egg, larval, the grub stage, pupal, and adult stages. Most grub adults emerge at night, mate, and dig back into the soil by daylight. A few species have adults that are active during the daytime. Some scarab adults feed on plant leaves, flowers, or fruits, but most don't feed or feed very little. White grub species with annual life cycles usually have adults emerging in early to midsummer. Females lay eggs in moist soil where the eggs absorb water and develop over 10 to 20 days. Soil moisture during egg laying and egg development seems to be the major limiting factor in white grub populations. Upon hatching, the first instar grubs dig to the soil thatch interface to feed on organic matter. The first instar grubs take two to three weeks to mature at which time they dig back into the soil to molt into the second instar. Second instar grubs feed for about three weeks and repeat the molting process. Third instar grubs generally mature in the early fall when they dig deeper into the soil to spend the winter. In the spring, these grubs return to the soil thatch interface to feed for a week or two before digging into the soil to pupate. White grub pupae normally take 20 to 30 days to transform into adults. White grub controls are usually targeted against the first instar grubs as they begin feeding in the soil thatch interface. Control of later instar white grubs usually requires the use of rapid acting insecticides followed with considerable irrigation in order to move the insecticide to the soil thatch interface. Several parasites and diseases including insect parasitic nematodes are effective for control of certain species of white grubs.